Hello, everyone. I've heard from so many people across South Dakota this week about the situation that we're in with the federal government shutdown. I've heard from hundreds of South Dakotans who support the effort underway to protect people from the damaging effects of Obamacare. I've also heard from hundreds of South Dakotans who are upset that the government is shut down. I've appreciated hearing from all of you. I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you where I stand and to let you know what I've been doing to try to resolve this issue. I was not in favor of the government shutting down, and I want to see it get reopened as soon as possible. I voted four times in the past week to keep the government open, while also asking that no one gets special treatment under Obamacare, which is something that thousands of South Dakotans have contacted me and asked for. One of the most recent bills that I voted for would have kept the government open while also delaying for one year the Obamacare mandate that requires individuals to purchase health insurance or face a fine. President Obama previously decided to give big businesses a delay from this requirement. So why should we treat individuals and families any differently? I believe it's only fair that big businesses and the people of South Dakota be treated the same under Obamacare. All of these attempts to fund the government while providing fairness from Obamacare have been rejected out of hand by the Senate Majority Leader. In response, I supported an attempt to convene a formal conference committee so the House and the Senate could sit down, meet, and work out our differences. Unfortunately, our request for negotiation was rejected. To be clear, I do not think Obamacare is being implemented fairly, and I believe it is going to bankrupt our country. Obamacare is going to be yet another unaffordable entitlement program that our country simply cannot afford. With our national debt nearing $17 billion, trillion, we cannot afford Obamacare. While I would prefer to see Obamacare completely repealed and defunded, I have been and remain willing to find common ground with Senate Democrats. They just need to be willing to come to the table and talk. In the meantime, I've been supporting targeted funding bills that would allow our government to continue doing things like operate the national parks, continue children's cancer research, and to take care of veterans. These basic functions of government are not controversial. There's no reason that we shouldn't fund them immediately. Please know that I will continue working to resolve this problem. In the meantime, I hope to continue hearing from you and I appreciate hearing your stories and receiving your feedback. Please stay in touch. Thank you.